Hello, I'm Ian Robinson, Director of Knowledge Transfer and Technical Publications. Welcome to this quick tip about installing Unison software. To get started, you have to register an email address with Xera to enable access to the YUM repositories. If you don't already have one set up, go to the Expedite Help Center and register. It only takes a few minutes to complete the online form. We review registration requests to ensure that access is limited to Xera customers, so it may take a day to receive confirmation your registration has been approved. The Xera Semiconductor Test Group has introduced a new approach to distributing software. This approach uses YUM repositories and enables you to download only those components and plugins you need. Now you can focus your updates to only those areas where you will see benefits. The first thing we have to do is check that the prerequisites are met before performing installation. Refer to the Unison documentation for details. We're going to run the command cap slash etc slash red hat minus release to find out what version of CentOS we're running. If it returns CentOS release 6.2 final, or for the CentOS 7 systems, CentOS Linux release 7.2.1511 core, then the version is OK. Now we can configure the LTX Credence YUM repositories. You must be root to perform these steps. On CentOS 7 workstations, disable the package kit. Please take a look at the product documentation and see important notes about access to ports. If you have never done a YUM install, all we have to do is type yum install http colon slash slash sr01 period xera.com slash unison minus yum repo dot rpm. Performing this step sets up access to the repositories and disables the default CentOS repositories. Using the email address registered with the Expedite Help Center, type the following in a terminal. LTXC repo tool space minus LTXC. The LTXC repo tool sets up access to the repositories using the registered email address. Remember, that's the email address registered through the Expedite Help Center. If you are doing this for the first time, you can list the content of the repository using yum space list open single quote unison star release star close single quote or open quotations unison star release star close quotations. Select and install the release you want to install. In this case, unison u1709 release. We can do this by typing yum install unison u1709 release. Then run the post install script slash opt slash ltx slash releases slash u1709 slash common slash scripts slash post install. The installation and post installation scripts take some time to install so I have removed the detailed transcript sent to the terminal window. 
In particular, the first post-installation script could take 45 minutes to run, but this will be much less in later installations. Respond to the questions on the screen to accept the Adobe license and to define installation locations for various directories used by Unison. Make sure you read the questions carefully to ensure the links to the testers, printers, and site directories are created. If these are not set up, you will have to take steps to install them later. Now your first Unison installation is complete, you can start using your workstation for program development. Refer to the documentation for the steps to install Unison on a test system, which are almost identical to a workstation installation. In the next YUM video, we'll show you how to configure the local mirror of the repository, which is useful when you want to install Unison or components across your internal network. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks.